All right, let's quickly talk about Rupert Murdoch. Uh, Rupert Murdoch uh, retired officially uh, from his empire uh, last week. Uh, he is uh, worth something like $22 billion dollars. And he's the 31st richest man in the United States and 75th fifth richest man in the world. That's pretty amazing. The 21 billion, 22 billion only gets you 31st in the U.S. <laughs> That's insane. I remember with billionaire, being a billionaire counted for something. Now, you know, every Joe Schmo is a billionaire. Anyway, um, Rupert is 92 years old. Uh, he's been working until now. He's just retiring now. He is passing on his media empire, uh, or a lot of the media empire, certainly Fox and News Corp, to his son, Lachlan Murdoch. Uh, I, I, you know, again, I, there's a long history here. I just want to focus on one element of this. Uh, Murdoch, of course, controls Fox News uh, and has been the, 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 the mind, the power behind Fox News, and I'd say over the last, what is it, over the last uh, three years, uh, Murdoch has been basically engaged together with Fox News in a campaign, you know, not, not 100%, not, not, you know, uh, full on, but in a uh, somewhat of a campaign to deny Donald Trump the, uh, you know, the presidency in 2024, to deny Donald Trump the Republican nomination for the presidency in 2024. I, I mean, you could tell this by uh, the, you know, really amazing, you know, a positive treatment of DeSantis and then of, uh, for a while there of uh, Vivek. Uh, they really, uh, they didn't have Trump on many of the, uh, of the shows with the exception of, with the exception of Hannity. Uh, you know, generally you had a, a Fox News that seemed to be uh, supporting other candidates and was really kind of abandoned Trump or at least trying to get the Republican Party to abandon Trump. Not too aggressively, not too strongly, but somewhat. I mean, Murdoch himself is just been trying desperately over the last three years to find an alternative to Trump. I mean, uh, recently he's approached Glenn Yokins from uh, Virginia to try to get him to jump into the race because DeSantis has been failing with the hope that maybe Yonkins can, can beat Trump. Fox has always been committed, also been committed to the stories for years now. That it was an opinion leader, that it basically shaped the right that what was popular on Fox was popular among Fox viewers, that Fox was at the helm of shaping the views of right-wing America. Well, the last three years have proved the opposite. And I think Murdoch's leaving has proved the opposite. It's like a, a Gail Wynand, although I don't want to give Murdoch that much credit, but a Gail Wynand moment where Gail Wynand in, in The Fountainhead discovers that he didn't really run the newspaper. Then in some sense, the mob wrote the newspaper. Also, Tui managed the newspaper. Murdoch has discovered that he doesn't really control Fox, that Fox's fate is not in his hands, but it's in hands of the viewers that the viewers are not being shaped by Fox, that Fox is being shaped by its viewers. You know, Tucker Carlson's departure didn't change anything. Tucker is a bigger success off of Fox than he was at Fox. Uh, the viewers are backing Trump in spite of Fox, not wanting them to back Trump. The viewers are holding views that Fox rejects, doesn't matter. Fox has become, and I talked about this, I talked about this when I talked about Tucker a, a, a few months ago, Fox has become basically, a, a, you know, a, 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 a channel that reflects back to kind of the Republican base, what the Republican base wants. It's not a leader. It's not the educator. 
it's not the decision maker. It's just a, a reflecting pool. It just reflects back. Uh, so Murdoch's departure from Fox, I think, is, is, a, is an important moment. Um, it, it, it's, I think, to some extent, Fox is giving up recognition that it has lost, that it cannot control, um, control the, 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 the right. Uh, you know, Trump is going to win the GOP nomination. It's hard to see how he doesn't. And it, it basically makes Trump, I guess not surprisingly, the most powerful person on the right by far. And Fox and everybody associated with Fox you know, a step behind, a follower. All right. All right, it, it, will, be, um, it will be interesting to see what happens. It will be interesting to see how Lachlan uh, manages Fox, if there's a shift, if Fox jumps I'm sure they will, but the extent to which Fox will jump on the bandwagon. Now, look, I'm not saying Fox has been anti-Trump. It's been very careful not to be too anti-Trump. But most of that has to do with the fact that it doesn't want to piss off its audience than in terms of what it actually, what, what the actually beliefs are of, of the different hosts and the people running Fox, who clearly were anti-Trump, or at least Murdoch was anti-Trump.